welcome to the short demonstration on how to use Camtasia Relay. Camtasia Relay is a program we use that will allow you to make recordings of your screen, whether it's a PowerPoint presentation or an online video or an online lecture, and then turn it into a video that you can then share with your students online. So we're going to go ahead and get started by clicking on Camtasia Relay which brings us to a login screen and you're going to use your humble login ID and password. You want to be sure to log in as a presenter using your login ID and password because when you log in as a presenter you're then given the ability to upload your videos. So I'm going to go ahead and click on login and this is the control panel that we get for Camtasia Relay. It's pretty easy to use and pretty straightforward. I'm going to go through everything at the top here. One of the first options you have is audio and here is where you can uh, work with the audio settings. Most of the time Camtasia Relay will auto detect your audio settings which it has here. You can see that it's determined that I have a webcam uh, microphone and you can see by the bouncing green bar that it's picking up my audio. So these are my other options, but since it's picked up this option, I'm going to go ahead and leave it alone and see how it works. Your next option is display. I happen to have two monitors on my desk. Um, if you only have one, of course you're only going to get one option. So at this point, I'm going to pick which uh, display I want to use, and I'm going to use this one. My next option is my webcam. So I'm going to select camera. And again, uh, Camtasia Relay will auto-detect what kind of uh, webcam you have uh, attached to your computer. I have two. I have one that is on my laptop, which is shut, which is why this is dark. And I have a webcam that is attached, um, it, that is sitting on top of my monitor, which I'm going to be using for this demonstration. So I'm going to select this webcam. Before I select it, though, this is the time when you want to move it around or check your lighting and just make sure that everything's working okay with your video. So I'm going to go ahead and select this webcam, which then puts uh, my, my webcam picture down here in the corner of my screen. The next option available to you with Camtasia Relay is the use of hotkeys. So hotkeys are used uh, to start or pause your video or to stop your video. You could click start or stop manually, but a lot of people don't like to drag their mouse across to, to click stop uh, when they're actually recording their screen. So some people choose to use hotkeys and you can assign them here. It's just strictly a personal preference. I've opted to use F1 to record and pause my video, and I've opted to use F2 to stop. So that's strictly a personal preference, and you don't have to select anything if you don't want to. You can just manually click on the stop button when you're done. So I'm going to click on OK there. Right here is our recording preview. This gives you an idea of what it's going to look like. In a few minutes when I actually record the screen, I'm going to be pulling up a PowerPoint video behind me. So this just kind of gives you an idea of the layout of the screen, where, where your picture is and, and where your content is going to go behind you. Under presentation details is profile, and the profiles th that are assigned are um, screencast and YouTube. So if you choose CPS Distributed Learning Screencast for your profile, when you finish your video and you click on OK and then you approve the video, it will be sent to either Screencast or YouTube and then it will be uh, stored up there and you will receive an email link from whoever you choose, giving you a link to the video that you can then share with your students. If you're not sure what to use, go ahead and click on Upload and Decide Later. Today I'm going to go ahead and use YouTube. So next I'm going to enter a title for this demonstration and a description. Okay, my next option is to run a test and when I click on test I'm going to get a 10 second recording that's just going to uh, give me an idea of the audio and video. I can make sure it's working okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. 
and you get this counter up here and this is counting down 10 seconds at which time I can move my cursor around and I can talk and make sure that everything seems to be working okay. Okay, so right now you see uh, everything's frozen because it's waiting for us to play the 10 second test that I just recorded. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and we'll see if, if the audio and, and, and video looks okay. And you get this counter up here, and this is counting down 10 seconds, at which time I can move my cursor around and I can talk and make sure that everything seems to be working okay. Okay, so it seems like our, our test is good and we're ready to record. I'm going to go ahead and click on close and that will um, close out and throw away the 10 second test that we just did that we don't need anymore. So I look down here and I see we're connected to the server, which is a good thing. And we've tested and we're ready to go. So what I'm going to do in a minute is I'm going to click on record and that's going to give me about four or five seconds to pull up my PowerPoint presentation. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And we're recording now, and this is the PowerPoint presentation I created for this demonstration. Camtasia Relay is fun and easy to use, and it is. And right now, uh, Camtasia Relay is recording my screen, which is this PowerPoint presentation. I'm manually moving it backwards and forward, and Camtasia is recording my screen. And uh, when you're finished recording the screen, Camtasia Relay will automatically upload your video for you and send you a link to it. And if you're wondering where to get the software, you can get it from our website um, under the Campus Resources tab. And our website is humboldt.edu slash dl. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Stop, which will stop the recording. And now comes the fun part. Now I'm going to play it back and see if, if, um, if it turned out okay. So let's go ahead and click on play. And we're recording now. And this is the PowerPoint presentation I created for this demonstration. Camtasia Relay is fun, easy to use. And it is. And right now, uh, Camtasia Relay is recording my screen, which is this PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so we recorded the video and it looks good. Um, if you didn't like it, which you probably won't the first few times you do it, you'll want to click on discard and you can start again. When you're happy with your video, you can then click on submit and what it will do is send it up to the server. It's sending it up to the YouTube server right now and it will send me a link in a few minutes that I can then share it with my students. A few minutes after you upload your video to either YouTube or Screencast, you'll get an email such as this one, which will tell you that your video is ready to be viewed. And uh, you go into it and you can just click on where it says view under the word link. We opted to upload this video to YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And uh, you can take a look right now at the video that you uploaded. And if you like it, you can now share it with your class. And you do that by clicking on share, which will give you either a link you can copy and paste, or it will allow you to click on embed if you wanted to embed it into, say, another web page. You could email it, you could send it to Facebook, or you can send it to Twitter. So for those of you who don't have Camtasia Relay software installed on your computer, it's pretty easy to get. You just go to our website, which is humboldt.edu slash dl. And from there, you can select Campus Resources, which will give you a drop-down menu. And you can click on Camtasia Relay, which brings you to a login screen. And you just enter your HSU login ID and password. And this will pull up uh, your Camtasia Relay profile. It'll show you any recent um, presentations you've created. But over here on the right is your download button. 
you can select that. And here are the four options you get. You can download the full Camtasia Relay program for Windows or for Mac. If you wanted, you can download a modified version of Camtasia Relay for your phone. It's called TechSmith Fuse. Or if you use different computers and you didn't want to download the software on the hard drive, you could download it to a USB flash and still run the program from the flash drive. So most of you are going to want to just download um, the conventional way um, for XP or Apple. So we'll do that. And we're going to click on install. And you're finished.